Hi, this is Miss Pat from Samuels Public Library. Today in Science Scouts, we're going to learn about architecture, engineering, shapes, which um, shapes are the strongest. So our book today is going to be Iggy Peck Architect by Andrea Beatty. Young Iggy Peck is an architect who has been since he was two. When he built a great tower in only an hour with nothing but diapers and glue. Good gracious, Ignatius, his mother exclaimed. That's the coolest thing that I've ever seen. But her smile faded fast as a light wind blew past and she realized those diapers weren't clean. Ignatius, my son, what on earth have you done? That's disgusting and nasty. It stinks. But Iggy was gone. He was out on the lawn using dirt clods to build a great sphinx. When Iggy was three, his parents could see his unusual passion would stay. He built churches and chapels from peaches and apples and temples for modeling clay. At dinner one night, to his father's delight, Iggy got a bright gleam in his eye and out on the porch built the St. Louis Arch from pancakes and coconut pie. Dear Ig had it made until second grade when his teacher was Miss Lila Greer. On the very first day, she had this to say, we do not talk of buildings in here. Gothic or Romanesque, I couldn't care less about buildings, ancient or new. She said in her lecture about architecture that it had no place in grade two. That might seem severe, but she was sincere for when she was no more than seven, she had a great fright at a dizzying height in a building so tall it scraped heaven. On an architect's tour of the 95th floor, Young Lila got lost from her group. She was found two days later in a stuck elevator, eating cheese with a French circus troupe. After that day, it's quite safe to say, she thought all building lovers were nuts. As a teacher, she taught that above all one ought to avoid them. No ifs, ands, or buts. As you might guess, it would cause Iggy stress to hear such terrible talk. But he didn't hear, he sat in the rear while building a castle of chalk. You, Iggy Peck, your desk is a wreck. Tear down that castle right now. You will not build in here. Is that perfectly clear? Do you need to see Principal Howe? No, ma'am, Iggy said. He lowered his head and his heart sank down to the floor. With no chance to build, his interest was killed. Now second grade was a bore. After 12 long days that passed in a haze of reading, writing, and arithmetic, Miss Greer took the class to Blue River Pass for a hike and an old fashioned picnic. They crossed an old trestle to a small island nestled in the heart of a burbling stream, but they no sooner passed than the footbridge collapsed and Miss Lila Greer started to scream. We're trapped here. Oh my, a lost kids goodbye. Her eyeballs rolled back in her head. She dropped to the ground with a vague groaning sound, luckily fainted, not dead. Class was amazed. They stood there quite dazed, uncertain of what they should do. But well, one bright young man was off hatching a plan, which started with Miss Lila's shoe. Soon each lad and lass there at Blue River Pass was working together as one. When she came to, Miss Lila Greer knew 
that something quite brave had been done. She looked in the air and saw hanging there a structure with cables and braces, and on the far side, beaming with pride, were 17 smiling young faces. Boots, trees, roots, and string, fruit, roll-ups, and things, some of which one should not mention, were mentioned were stretched ridge to ridge in a glorious bridge dangling from shoestring suspension. It all became clear to Miss Lila Greer as she crossed that bridge over the stream. There are worse things to do when you're in grade two than to spend your time building a dream. Now every week at Blue River Creek, elementary and second grade, all the school kids can hear, along with Miss Greer, how the world's greatest buildings were made. The weekly guest, guest speaker in t-shirt and sneakers talks of buildings from Rome to Quebec. Of course, he's the guy who builds towers from pie, that brilliant young man, Iggy Peck. Okay. So, we are going to learn a little bit about different shapes. Okay. Architecture is the art of designing and constructing buildings. And you've all know that means these are the guys that have to draw up the plans for houses or schools or shopping centers, or even the really tall buildings in the middle of the city. Okay. But these are some buildings you've probably not seen before. Okay, look at the shapes of these things. Whoops. All right, let me go back one. Sorry about that. So let's see if I can get that up. All right, so though that one is really round. That one on the right hand, this one kind of looks like it's melting. Right? It's such a weird shape. I'd love to be on the inside to see what the walls really look like on that one. Okay, so they, depends on how, how they build them as to how tall they can actually get. Will it stop? Will it hold weight? So certain shapes are more stable. They can be balanced higher. They can hold more. All right, so we have triangles. We have circles. We have squares. Right, so you guys are going to get paper and you're going to be able to figure out which ones do you want to do? Okay. So I've already cut mine into a couple of strips, but I'll give you the format if you want to build squares with them. So you can actually take the paper and you can turn them into circles and tape them and then see how high you can stack them. Okay. Or you can just kind of fold them up occasionally, just fold them up and make a triangle, right? And then you can stack those and I'll give you the instructions. Don't cut them up like this though, if you wanna make squares, okay? You're gonna to have to make some cuts on the big paper, but you don't want these ones to be squares. Although I guess, I'll take that back. Fold it up into fours, okay? And then you just need to tape, tape the side. And then you have a square and you can try and stack it that way too, All right? You stack them. You come in and tell me how high up did you get with the squares or the circles or the triangles or take a picture. I would love to see this. But what you guys are also gonna have, oh, and here's something else you can try at home. They did it with triangles. Okay, so they have triangles going um, right side up and then upside down. And they wanted to see how many, how much cookies it would hold. So that's something you can try at home. I'm not giving you the cookies. But I am going to give you some sticks, toothpicks and um, kebab sticks. Or if you wanted to use uh, really pretzels or even spaghetti sticks before you cook them, you want them hard. I am going to give you marshmallows. All right, and you can build with the marshmallows. You can build, again, these are kind of a rectangular, kind of square. This is kind of a lopsided thing, right? Build the tallest one you can. And if you could take a picture or measure it and tell, come in and tell me, I would love to see them, 
All right. So again, you can so building with triangles. Right, and you're going to need tape. So you can have a couple like that. And I'm just going to build a couple more. And all I'm doing is folding it. Right. And then I'm going to open it back up. And I'm going to make some triangles. You'll have, like I said, you'll have a couple of sheets of paper, so you can do this. Now, I do want you to see what they were doing with the triangles. Okay, so here's our two triangles. Now, they had two, and then they put one like this. Okay. Now, you could put another sheet of paper on top. I think this is what they did for their Oreos. They put one on top and then they put their Oreos there. If you want, you can try taping them together. Okay. So that's one of the things you can do. Or, like I said, you're gonna get some toothpicks, you're gonna get some sticks, and you're gonna get some marshmallows. Marshmallows are kind of stale. They're kind of hard. Don't think you want to. Don't think you want to be eating them. Okay, but you can stick at least two in there. All right. I'm kind of making a square. All right, so I have my square. I'm gonna put him down. I'm actually going to break my shish kebab stick in half. And I'm gonna stand it up in this. I'm gonna put another what I'm doing. Yeah, he's keep kind of keeps falling down because he's not connected. So the marshmallow is kind of too heavy for him to stay up. But once I start connecting them, he should stay up. And I got to connect all of them. So this way I got that. Now I could have gone higher if I wanted to use my whole stick, right? Would have been able to do that. But now I can kind of break this stick in half and I can kind of go up a little bit more. I was kind of worried that it was going to be too tall to go over that way. If I wanted to, I could go up little ones, right? To see how about so these are things you guys can do. Right? Fill the weird shapes. See how many you can do, right? If you have extra marshmallows at home, like big marshmallows, you can do those because you can fit a lot of sticks in those things, right? These ones won't fit as many. You can only fit so many sticks inside of one of these. So, but architecture takes a lot of science. You kind of have to know about gravity. You don't want to go up in a building that somebody's built and they don't know anything about weight or shapes or the gravity force or anything like that. So you really do want to know something about architect. And people that are architects, they've built, they've built things like this, okay? They've practiced with these. They've said, oh, this is a little flimsy. So I'm going to need a little bit more extra support. And that's why you, you saw those pictures. You might have a stick going from here to here. 
right? You might have X's going because that's gonna make it stronger. And then if you wanted to, you could take a piece of paper, right? And you could put it across the top. And you can try putting weights on top of that. Again, put your, put your cookies on top. See how well that'll work, okay? So that's architecting. I'm not gonna tell you what kind of shapes to do. You could try and build a pyramid though. You could try and build a round building, right? Especially if you take these and you kind of put, um, or a pentagon, put five of them down. You could build, put eight of them down and kind of build an octagon and then build it up. See which ones you can get the most shapes from, okay? So have fun. Let me know what you did. I'd love to see pictures, okay? Take care.